All right, guys, we're back on Ordo Airsoft, and we're going to be looking at six tips to help you stay warm while playing airsoft in the winter. guys for this first tip it's going to be pretty obvious it's going to be wear gloves now these gloves are typically what we would wear playing airsoft they're pretty beat up they're a lot older than uh we would like but they still work actually there's something metal in this one don't mind that so we recommend upgrading to a pair of gloves such as this that are actually insulated now uh, the downsides with these gloves is they are bulkier and they're actually designed by Cabela's so that don't make as much noise as typical snow gloves. But the one good thing about these gloves is that the trigger finger is thinner than all the other ones. So that way it doesn't affect your trigger usage while you're using them. And they are camo, they are pretty nice. They're warm and if it's around I'd say 20 to 30 degrees, I would just wear these. And obviously I'm not gonna be wearing these in any sort of inclement weather conditions. But there's one other thing you can do, and that's to use some glove inserts. So these glove inserts are great. You basically put these on your hands and then put your hands into the gloves. And these things are made of, I'm not sure what type of fabric it is, but it's some sort of thermal fabric, it keeps your hands really warm made by this company named Cirrus. You don't have to get these ones, any ones will do, but these work really great for insulating your hands while still not wearing like six pairs of gloves. These things are really thin. You barely even notice you have them on and you just put these on your hands and wear them with these gloves. Next tip is to wear some sort of head covering. So it's important to wear a head covering or some sort of a neck facial covering like this neck gaiter, because a lot of the heat escapes through your face, especially if you're wearing all the gear, your face is going to be very cold. So you'd recommend wearing one of these. You can even wear it with a mesh mask, behind a mesh mask, if you're one of those guys that wears a mesh mask. But this will keep your face a lot warmer, especially when you work into account the wind chill when it gets into these cold temperatures. For our next tip, is going to be wear some base layer. So base layer is very important. You wear it under your pants, so that way it's another form of insulation. Keeps you very warm. This is just some Climate Smart base layer. They also have more thick types of base layer, such as this pair made by EMS. Decently thick material. I don't know if you can see on the camera angle, but it's pretty thick. Made of a fleece type material. It's warm, doesn't itch. It's great for wearing in cold temperatures. Now, one thing to caution when wearing base layer, if you have more, more than one pair of base layer, you want to wear the loose fitting ones on the outside because if you wear tight fitting ones over loose fitting ones, it's going to compress it and it's not going to insulate as well. Next tip is going to be wear some good socks. So these are some socks we got at a local EMS store. Uh, they're pretty insulating. They're good for moderate cold temperatures. But for really cold temperatures, we like to use these huge Carhartt socks. Now these socks are so insulating that sometimes you have to go up a boot size in order to wear them. As you can see, they're very, very thick. They're made of wool. And they are very, very good for cold temperatures. As you can see, they have the little elastic band so it doesn't get bunched up. These things, I would not wear them any temperature above 10 degrees otherwise your feet are going to be absolutely sweating and obviously you wear these in combination with boots and something that repels water because obviously you don't want water getting into these our next tips wear some good tactical pants so these are some 511 pants they're ripstop they're fairly water resistant you want to pick something out that's fairly water resistant because this is your first layer 
your first line of defense. And these things are fairly insulating. I would still like to wear them with base layer when it gets really cold out. And also at the bottom, they have these little these little cords here for tying up to your boots. So that way you can cinch it down over your boot. And that way less water is going to get in. You can blouse them that way as well if you're into that. Something with cargo pockets so you can keep hand warmers in there. And obviously they have some nice side slash pockets for warming up your hands if need be. Alright, our last tip for this video is going to be to wear your plates because they say a plate carrier warms you up twice. Once carrying around and second time it acts as actual insulation. So obviously plate is going to be very good because it's keeping tight to your body. No heat is going to be able to get through it. People say it might draw some heat away from your body, but you wearing this all day is definitely going to keep you nice and warm, especially when you're out there playing airsoft. Also, more importantly, you look cool. So in summary, the two most important things you should do from this video is have a good pair of glove inserts that are insulating and also have some really good socks. The socks are probably the most important because your feet are in contact with the ground, which is going to be the coldest surface unless you're going swimming. So these things will definitely help you out there when you're playing. They're super warm. Can't recommend them enough. And they're going to save you out there when it's negative 10 and you're trying to play airsoft. <laughs> All right, guys. So we hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys have any winter tips that we forgot to add, let us know down in the comments below. And I think we're going to do a part two to this video, possibly in the next couple weeks. We'll go out and play airsoft on a cold day, and we'll tell you guys what we bring. So be safe, stay warm, and we'll see you guys in the next video.